Safety first. As per the last census, the Indian workforce is over 400 million strong. By 2024, that number could very well cross 600 million, a 39.1% of the total Indian population. Over 42% work in heavy industries, use heavy machines, cope industrial hazards. A 17% of India's GDP comes from manufacturing industries. Safety is the first aid of the uninjured. Safety tops all the priorities in the industrial sector. Worldwide, we have 340 million occupational accidents and 160 million victims of work-related illnesses annually. 6,000 die every day. Safety is a challenge. Be it any industry, organization, or an employee, everyone needs to be safe. Humans do, machines do. Industrial safety parameters are getting complex with each passing day. Elimination of industrial hazards is a dire necessity. Prevention of work-related injury is a prerequisite. Ask Abhinav Dar, a manager from one of the Fortune 100 companies who lost his employee to a fatal industrial accident. His workers lost morale. His company lost productivity by 20%. Questions stare right into our eyes. How to be safe? What is the solution? Who can keep us safe? Well, maybe God can, but we try to. We provide solutions. We help keep the industry safe and give you round-the-clock visibility of your assets. We are the Hack Lab Solutions. We follow a 360-degree approach, considering all the three dimensions of safety implementation, management, machines, and workers. With advancement of AI, our aim hence is safety for productivity. We use IoT hardware integration with sharp AI edge processing, real-time environment monitoring, data insights, and worker safety profiling. We estimate risk, employ professionals, analyze scenarios, and provide solutions. Our systems can predict failures, warn you, and take action. Our suite of tracker products cater to major Fortune 500 companies and in several industrial sectors ranging from FMCG, logistics, mining to metals, and manufacturing. Our safety product verticals include collision avoidance system, pedestrian alert system, AI-based compliance monitoring, safety interlocks, and smart traffic management system. Our security product verticals include tracker tags, smart tracker cam, tracker PA system. We have gained trust of clients like Unilever, ITC, Pendelco Industries and top Fortune 500 companies availing our products and services. Hello, good evening and welcome to another episode of Hack Lab Podcast, where we deep dive into the world of workplace safety innovation and best practices. I am Amber, your host, and today we are exploring a critical industry that impacts millions globally, the pharmaceutical industry. With rapid advancements and stringent regulation, pharma companies face unique safety challenges. In today's episode, we will be discussing safety culture in the pharmaceutical industry. Joining us today is Mr. Vivek Astana, Corporate General Manager with Symbiotic Pharma Lab a leader in pharmaceutical safety management. We'll be talking about the importance of safety culture, the strategies that pharma company use to ensure the well-being of their workforce and consumers, and the evolving safety practices in the industry. Thank you, Vivek, sir, for giving us your afternoon today. Hi, Ambar. Nice to meet you. Uh, in fact, it is uh, an excellent initiative you have taken. And I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. And we here at Hack Lab are very glad to host you today and to learn from your experiences. 
as we start please uh, you can give us a short about yourself and your journey which has been yeah sure sure <laughs> so ambar in fact i started my career with api industry in production department right so it is a part of pharma industry any idea about api and uh, formulation or should i give it uh, yes sir please uh, it yeah, will yeah, be yeah. glad to if you yeah, yeah. So, yeah so before coming to your question i just want to clarify our ideas yes. that uh, broadly pharmaceutical industry can be divided into two segments one is api that is called active pharmaceutical ingredient and another is formulation that is which may be solid doses injectables and syrups so these are formulated products so in other words you can say that api is a raw material for pharmaceutical industry right okay both industries have different hazards different systems for an example if you consider a ciprofloxacin ciprofloxacin is an antibacterial mm-hmm. so which is available in market in the form of solid doses in that uh, form of tablet but that tablet the main ingredient is ciprofloxacin that is an api for api manufacturing in case of ciprofloxacin so ciprofloxacin is produced a series of reactions okay and lot of chemicals hazardous chemicals are used in this manufacturing of any api so finally this powder which is obtained so this is processed in formulation plants to make syrups to make capsules to make kits so this is the uh, difference so i started my career in api production and almost i worked around 15 years there mm-hmm. yes so after when i was in production i realized that ehs function is so important how the rest is on back foot mm-hmm. okay so although it is an integral part of manufacturing but people are not aware of, aware about the hazards about the environmental impact the priority was always deliveries production qualities every audit making compliance of good manufacturing practices right correct right so what happened if you see have you heard about this pharmacopia 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 okay so every drug whenever you go to market to purchase a drug you may find some embossment there that is ip usp right amoxicillin ip yes so that is indian pharmacopoeia meaning that product that drug is tested as per that pharmacopoeia indian pharmacopoeia okay. usp means that drug is tested as per united states pharmacopoeia so is it standards yeah yeah these are the standards and bp you may uh, also find that bp Uh-huh. somewhere okay so bp is this tablet or capsule or drug is met, uh, tested as per these uh, british pharmacopoeia correct now okay. take the example of uh, manufacturing of amoxicillin type. yeah like here it says on yeah. the tablet something yeah 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 so amoxicillin it is an antibiotic it is also given to newborn babies right right so when you go to market usually you may find that amoxicillin ip mm-hmm. correct amoxicillin syrup ip so what does it mean see as per usp or as per ip if you compare these standards mm-hmm. in ip the purity standard for purity of amoxicillin triiodide in api it is 97.5% agar aapka product 97.5% प्योर है yes. में निकाल सकते हैं जा सकता है अच्छा ये स्टैंडर्ड है या yeah, स्टैंडर्ड है ओके बट एज पर यूएसपी और बीपी बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रेंजेंट है तो दीज स्टैंडर्ड्स आर मोर स्ट्रेंजेंट सो इन द केस ऑफ इम्प्योरिटी प्रोफाइल एमोक्सिसिलिन का इम्प्योरिटी प्रोफाइल अगर आप आईपी में देखेंगे तो बहुत बहुत स्ट्रेंजेंट है 5% टोटल रेजिडुअल सब्सटेंसेस होना चाहिए जबकि यूएसपी और बीपी में 2% i think 1% 2% is correct okay, okay. now the question is that kya hum log indian insaan nahi hai yeah wohi to matlab yes hum log hum logo ke liye ye relaxation ki jo cheez jo batch us nahi ja sakta usp wo indian standards meet nahi karta wo indian market mein 
राइट राइट और व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर डूइंग बिजनेस वी आर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग ड्रग्स फॉर दैम करेक्ट ओके ओके उनके लिए हम लोग बना रहे हैं बट पीपल आर नॉट पीपल देर फोकस ऑन आई टोल्ड यू ना देर फोकस इज ऑन ऑन क्वालिटी डिलीवरीज दे आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट द हेजार्ड्स ऑफ ए पी आई एक्सपोजर दे आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट द हेजार्ड्स ऑफ एक्सपोजर ऑफ केमिकल्स ओके वॉट आर देर इफेक्ट हेल्थ इफेक्ट यू नो अंबर एवरी केमिकल हैज इट्स टारगेट ऑर्गेन करेक्ट एवरी ड्रग हैज इट्स टारगेट ऑर्गेन ओके and every chemical and every drug every product every medicine has an occupational exposure limit jo wahan par kaam kar rahe hain log number so unko kitna exposure limit hai us chemical ka ye bada ek jolant mudda hai mere liye mere liye to hai yes jo log wahan par kaam kar rahe hain workers operators supervisor even kisi bhi grade mein jo shop floor par manufacturing mein hai right उनको एटलीस्ट मालूम होना चाहिए था कि ये इसका ऑक्यूपेशनल एक्सपोजर लिमिट क्या है और मेरे वर्कप्लेस पर इसका कंसंट्रेशन क्या है राइट राइट टू टू इंफॉर्मेशन हो गया सो बट पीपल आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट दिस देर फोकस इज जस्ट ऑन क्वालिटी डिलीवरीज प्रोडक्शन एंड जी एफ डीज ओके सो इफ यू सी अमेरिकन एंड यूरोपियन कंट्रीज वट दे Mm-hmm. they have dumped all their chemical manufacturing and api manufacturing in india china and asian countries okay okay they have saved their environment their air is free from pollution they are saving their natural resources water and other thing right for india okay it is good for uh, we are developing country na for the for point of hmm. uh, employment for the point of uh, economy it is good yes उटरिटीजिकल इंडस्ट्री आर कंज्यूमिंग ओके सो आई थॉट बहुत हो गया प्रोडक्शन देयर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू डू आई कैन आई माय मस्ट कंट्रीब्यूट टू ईएचएस सो वॉलंटरी आई स्टार्टेड टू वर्क इन कोऑर्डिनेशन विद ईएचएस डिपार्टमेंट एंड फाइनली आई एम जॉब ओके और फॉर मी सो स्पिरिचुअलिटी इज इनहेरेंट इन दिस जॉब करेक्ट इफ यू कैन सी लाइफ्स ऑफ पीपल अगर आप हेल्थ को प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते हो उनके एनवायरमेंट को प्रोटेक्ट कर सकते हो right, इससे बड़ा right. और क्या होगा कि इससे बड़ा सेटिस्फेक्शन और क्या होगा राइट तो दैट्स व्हाई आई शिफ्टेड टू गॉट इट यस सर दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पाथ व्हिच यू सिलेक्टेड आफ्टर वर्किंग इन प्रोडक्शन नहीं देयर आर लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स टू डू मतलब कहना चाहिए ये महासागर है इसमें इतना कुछ करने को है इतना कुछ करने को आपका right, काम करना ही नहीं है ठीक है सर तो सर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन मैं ये सोच रहा था कि लाइक यू नो व्हाट आर सम की कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ इफेक्टिव सेफ्टी कल्चर इन स्पेसिफिक टू फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इफ यू कैन शेयर सम एग्जांपल या यस नंबर इन फैक्ट सेफ्टी कल्चर इज ऑलवेज ड्राइव फ्रॉम टॉप मैनेजमेंट ओके Top management must realize where their company stands today. How is the prevailing culture in their organization? Right. Right now, if I talk about the safety culture, okay, you may find every industry have a different safety culture. Every person have a different safety culture. Suppose, my company me one thousand to thousand people work there, right? Right. Her bande ka apna safety culture hai. Koi kaise suppose someone is came from DRL. कोई ग्लैंड मार्च से है कोई सन फार्मा से है कोई डॉक्टर रेड्डी से है हर किसी का अलग है कोई प्राइवेट छोटी कंपनी से है सो ग्रॉस से जो कल्चर होगा उन सबका मिलके दैट इज कल्चर ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो आई जस्ट वांट टू गिव यू अ ब्रीफ अबाउट सेफ्टी कल्चर फॉर प्रोसीडिंग फर्दर 
first is very initially you can say that is a reactive safety right, culture. Right. Reactive safety culture means people just react on this. Suppose uh, if an uh, accident happens, you just get this person hospitalized, just give first aid and then close the chapter. That is reactive culture. So this is not recommended at all. In that safety culture, people think that safety is the responsibility of safety department only. They have nothing to do with it. <laughs> So this is the reactive safety culture. A organization must realize where it stands. That comes to dependent safety culture. Dependent safety culture means you are dependent on someone. You are dependent on your supervisor. Suppose a worker, he needs continuous supervision. Okay. An operator, he, while he was working, he needs continuous supervision. If continuous supervision, usko chahiye, dekhne ke liye. Or supervision, hata <laughs> durghatna so that is dependent okay. safety culture. <coughs> Correct? Na? Both mistakes yeah, par hoti hai. Both mistakes hoti hai. Dependent safety culture and reactive safety culture bilkul recommended nahi hai. Bilkul recommended nahi hai. Sir, ye to wohi baat ho gai jase yeah. police wala khada hai to humne seat belt laga li. Exactly. Exactly. Aap dekhiye na kya hota hai. Kitne log aapko milenge agar aap morning mein kabhi nikle mein dekhta ho agar wahan par police wala nahi hai Red light cross कर देते हैं ना लोग सबको मालूम है कि हेलमेट पहनना है नहीं पहनते ना करेक्ट ना ओके सो नेक्स्ट कम्स टू दैट इज इंडिपेंडेंट सेफ्टी कल्चर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिपेंडेंट सेफ्टी कल्चर इट इज बेटर बेटर देन रिएक्टिव एंड डिपेंडेंट कल्चर सो व्हाट हैपेंस एन ऑपरेटर इज सो ट्रेन द पीपल आर सो ट्रेन दे आर डूइंग देयर वर्क इंडिपेंडेंटली सेफली Correct. They follow SOPs. They follow the procedures. They follow the guidelines. Uh, they use PPEs, personal protective yes. equipments. Okay. They come to the training regularly. But it is very good. Independent safety culture. But these people have nothing to do with it. Whatever uh, what is going outside of their work. Okay. Actually, this is the desire. This should be the target. In interdependent inter, uh, interdependent safety cultures, meaning I care for you. I do my job safely and independently. I ensure that others are also doing their job safely. My concern is towards safety and towards my uh, colleagues okay. also. This that is called interdependent okay. safety. So the question is, management should understand what is the safety culture of their organization. Right? How can they do it? They can, okay, it is visible. Dikta hai aapko. Otherwise, if you are not to analyze this, you may oh. have third party also. There are many agencies in market like Chola. They will come, they will do survey okay. and give you the results. You analyze where you stand, what is your safety culture. And management should roll out a safety culture transformation program. Correct. So it should be derived from top management. This program should be signed by at least CEO or MD. It should be derived from top. Right. 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 So what are the features of this good safety, interdependent safety culture? Visible. People felt leadership okay. or felt it. Right. You have to see it. Leadership ki se dikhna chahiye. So mm-hmm. what are the indicators? Whether top management employees uh, routinely safety campus. Safety campus kar rahe hai. Uh, jo routine unka se round hota hai top management ka. Uh, whether it may be production had or quality had. Are they conducting their round with respect to safety requirements? Right. This, is, this is the prime 
first requirement of the safety culture. If management is taking safety yeah. rounds, top management, right? Their routine meetings must be started from safety top. After review, so how do we start our meetings? This should be started from safety talks. Why? In your department, what happened? The last accident was there. So, what did it make? What was its root cause? Was its root cause closed or not? Yeah, whatever the concerns are, so safety talk five minutes, ten minutes, so much. Any meeting start or routine meeting start or something. This is the indicator. MNCs में होता है ये चीज मल्टीनेशनल्स की अगर मैं बात करूं दे हैव देयर ओन मैकेनिज्म दे दे हैव देयर ओन ओन गवर्नेंस उनके पास ये चीजें हैं ओके नेक्स्ट इसके बाद हम लोग बात करेंगे इसके बारे में सो नेक्स्ट थिंग इज आपका जो ठीक है आपके पास हम लोग सेफ्टी कल्चर की बात कर रहे हैं कि आपका क्या मैनेजमेंट रिव्यू हो रहा है आर यू कंडक्टिंग रूटीन सेफ्टी रिव्यूज and your safety KPIs, your leading and lagging indicators, status of cars, right. are these discussed or not? Okay. So, uh, how much budget is allocating mm-hmm. to, to safety department? Correct. What is the, how is the communication of the incident? Suppose an incident happens uh, once at one side. So, are you communicating it to None. other sites also? So that other people can also learn about this outcome of the root cause of this um, incident okay yeah. so this is very important okay so uh, next thing is are your safety kpis are these kpis are the part mm-hmm. of uh, performance management system agar aapka performance management system mein aapko koi data hona chahiye agar aap safety violation hoga aapka to aapka performance pe hamper karega 10% क्या उनके दिल में कोई डर तो नहीं है नियर मिस और बहुत कॉमन प्रॉब्लम है ये एक्चुअली uh, लोगों को लगता है कि अगर uh, अगर वो रिपोर्ट करेंगे तो yes, उनका बॉस yes. क्या बोलेगा या उनके ऊपर कुछ ना आए मैनेजमेंट प्रोसीजर अगर आप ज्यादा रिपोर्ट करेंगे क्वालिटी ऑफ ट्रेनिंग आपका ट्रेनिंग क्या उनको ट्रेनिंग प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं आप क्या लोग ट्रेनिंग्स में जा रहे हैं क्या टॉप मैनेजर क्या मैनेजर्स के लिए भी वो ट्रेनिंग कंपलसरी है ये एच ट्रेनिंग्स दीज आर सम इंडिकेटर्स अगर ये आपको दिख रहे हैं तो यू कैन से दिस इज फेल्ट लीडरशिप कल्चर इज गुड कल्चर कैन नॉट बी चेंज ओवर नाइट इट इज अ जर्नी आई रोल आउट दिस सेफ्टी कल्चर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन माई प्रोग्राम इन माई कंपनी आई रोल आउट दिस प्रोग्राम and uh, we can change we can feel the changes nice nice so sir isi pe can you share what is the role yeah. of technology or how technology can enable this change so amber in fact uh, there are technologies in place it, de- it depends on organization how much budget mm-hmm. an organization is spent on safety features on safety aspects right technologies are there drone technologies that can be used in disaster there is a tool predictive analytical tool so it collects the historical data and can predict the possible future event there are many applications related to safety like test permit system test permit to work system virtual reality in training it is really very good technology yes. if we go for this vr training i really appreciate this इसमें आपको जो ट्रेनिंग लेता है ले रहा है बंदा उसको खुद फील होता है कि मैं ये काम करने वाला हूं तो क्या किस तरह से क्या हजार है राइट सो कंसिक्वेंस मॉडलिंग एंड अदर टूल्स आर आल्सो प्ले इन प्लेस लाइक हेजॉप्स सो टेक्नोलॉजीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट इन एंड इन एपीआई एंड फॉर्मुलेशन इंडस्ट्रीज ऑल्सो इन एम एन सीज इन वेरी इन गुड कंपनीज so all the operations are plc okay. bcs and scada based okay so in my views first 
we should analyze what is necessary for us i would uh, i would recommend that first we will go for automation and uh, minimum manual intervention must be there okay then uh, based on your need like training and nursing then you go for this Sir? on this technologies but otherwise paisa barbaad karne ka koi matlab nahi hai kyunki uska apna apna suppose i purchase this hazop tool hazop is a tool a software isme aap hazop hazard and operability studies ye aap kar aap conduct kar sakte hain but kya fayda jab uski requirement hai ki bhai aapke liye team ne baitha hai isme r&d maintenance operation uh and safety sab logon ne baith kar ke hazop karna hai agar उस लोग बैठेंगे ही नहीं तो उस टूल का कोई मतलब लाइक आपने बताया कि ऑटोमेशन इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप राइट व्हेन वी थिंक अबाउट अपग्रेडिंग आवर सेफ्टी कल्चर इन फार्मास्यूटिकल इंडस्ट्री इन इंडिया आपके हिसाब से लाइक डू कंपनीज ऑटोमेट और नो yeah really definitely if you see the systems uh, of uh, multinationals like gsk pfizer they have their automated parts sun pharma many plants have their automation uh, already in place but problem is not with multinational industries right problem is with uh, other indian industries i'm not uh, talking about this foreign mnc's have their own systems their own governance so their plants are very safe and people have to abide by the rules if we talk about this indian industry the indian pharmaceutical industry okay. which are doing this this with foreign mncs okay so for them yes there are certain requirements like pscai wo pscai ke requirement hai mm-hmm. pharmaceutical supply chain initiatives yeah they have their audits they have their checklist they they have psci is actually it is a, a non profitable organization of uh, pharmaceutical industries which they support yeah. on okay. uh, support with their suppliers in compliance on health and safety okay so the wo to compliance karwa lete hain problem is with the industries which are not doing business with the mncs so hazards are both there got it got it correct so this is the problem क्योंकि एमएनसी में तो ऑलरेडी वो एक स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसेस बिल्ड कर रखा है उन्होंने यस 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 और एमएनसीज का क्या है ना कि वो अपना काम करवा लेते हैं <laughs> तो वो अपने स्टैंडर्ड्स को फॉलो करते हैं वो उनका अदरवाइज देर इज अनदर प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज कॉल्ड इकोवेडिस सो इकोवेडिस ए प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर सस्टेनेबिलिटी स्कोरिंग उनका बोलना होता है ठीक है हम आपके साथ बिजनेस सब करेंगे जब आपके पास मिनिमम स्कोर 50 या 45 राइट तो मैंने बोला 45 आप इकोवेडिस का आपको स्कोर लेना है क्या करेंगे आप आपको सिस्टम एस्टेब्लिश करने ही पड़ेंगे ना <laughs> और क्या होता है कि एमएनसीज अगर मेरे को दिस इज एर ऑफ ग्लोबलाइजेशन अगर मेरे को आपके साथ बिजनेस करना है एमएनसीज के साथ करना है तो डेफिनेटली मेरे को अपग्रेड होनी सर एक एक क्वेश्चन था लाइक गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के भी तो कुछ स्टैंडर्ड्स होंगे यस 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 थी अमर गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैव अ 1948 में फैक्ट्री दैट ओके हमारे पास ओके उसके बाद जो स्टेट्स ने जो रूल्स बनाए एमपी स्टेट का अपना रूल है एमपी फैक्ट्री रूल्स उत्तराखंड फैक्ट्री रूल्स उत्तर प्रदेश फैक्ट्री रूल्स गुजरात फैक्ट्री रूल्स ओके तो एक मेरा बन गया उसके बाद रूल्स है रूल्स थोड़ा थोड़ा रिवाइज हो रहे हैं टाइम टू टाइम उन पर थोड़ा सा रिवीजन हो रहा है थोड़ा राइट करेक्ट उसके बाद उस पर कुछ okay. नहीं हुआ फैक्ट्री इंस्पेक्टर्स जो हैं वो भी बाउंड बेचारे वो भी आते हैं उसी के अकॉर्डिंग वो ऑडिट करते हैं उसी के अकॉर्डिंग वो लोग देखते हैं इसके अलावा yeah. अमर कुछ आई एस कोड्स हर चीज के आई एस कोड्स आई एस स्टैंडर्ड्स हैं लेकिन उसके अलावा कुछ हमारे पास एक दो रूल्स और है पेट्रोलियम रूल्स है एम एस आई एस सी रूल है कुछ बहुत ही सेलेक्टेड और कुछ गिने चुने रूल्स है प्रॉब्लम एनफोर्समेंट एनफोर्समेंट कहाँ है क्या गवर्नमेंट एजेंसीज वो एनफोर्स कर रही हैं कि ओके इंडस्ट्री को वो स्टैंडर्ड्स फॉलो करने हैं 
राइट तो एनफोर्समेंट इज नॉट देयर और इनफैक्ट वो स्टैंडर्ड्स भी नहीं है जो एम के स्टैंडर्ड्स हैं राइट सो इनफैक्ट अवर गवर्नमेंट मस्ट थिंक अबाउट दिस एक्चुअली ये रूल चेंज होना चाहिए कुछ नए नए नजरिए से इसको देखना चाहिए नए रेगुलेशन आना चाहिए स्ट्रिक्ट होना चाहिए गवर्नेंस होना चाहिए कंप्लाइंस होना चाहिए सर जैसे एमएनसी है मान लो देयर इज अ एमएनसी दैट इज हेड क्वार्टर्ड इन ह्यूस्टन टेक्सास दैट एमएनसी हैज देयर ओन स्टैंडर्ड्स बट दे आल्सो कंप्लाई विद द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स फेडरल स्टैंडर्ड्स सो उनको दो कंप्लायंस करना पड़ेगा एक तो गवर्नमेंट का सी नो नो सी सी यू आर राइट बिकॉज़ दे आर ऑपरेटिंग इन देयर ओन कंट्री they are bound to comply with their own legal requirements right but agar wo mere sath india mein yes. business kar rahi hai so wo ensure karti hai ki at least we are complying with the indian rules and regulations acha okay not there yeah yeah then it wo the nahi do cheez hai do cheez hai ek to ye rules and regulations ki hum baat kar rahe hain rules and regulations to comply karna hi hai india mein apart from this their standards they the compliance of their standards is additional got it got it Correct. yes sir yes, sir very interesting thing happened when covid came right it became really big and we never expected this to happen so after covid kuch changes aaye pharmaceutical industry mein yes uh, in fact pharmaceutical industry has learned a lot okay. from covid pharma industry have developed its immunity <laughs> you can say we have never shut uh, during that lockdown period i have no information that kisi pharma pharma industries continued their production so that during lockdown there should not be any scarcity of the life saving right. medicines correct so Um, now I think that uh, pharma people are so strong. I salute them. They are so strong; they can face any challenge, and they have proved it in past right, during right. COVID. Right, right. Itna vaccines humne beja, kitni zara se hum logon ne even we are manufacturing stripes okay. and hormones. So production humne zara hi kya during COVID? So sir, we are also exporting medicines as well. we are yeah definitely nice but yeah sir the final question which i have is let's look towards the future so jaise aapne kuch naya implement kiya apni company mein to what do you see the future of safety in pharmaceutical industry see amber i have already told you na that this is a era hmm. of globalization if you are interested to do business in global market then you don't have any option you don't have any choice you will have to follow ehs system now what customers they are asking about iso 14001 iso 45001 system meaning if you have iso 14000 14001 system means you have a uh, environment management system in place if you have iso 45001 system in place it means you have a, a health, occupational health and safety management system in place so this is the requirement right, right. okay further you will if your system are in place then you will have to comply okay next thing is uh, ecobetis i told you about the ecobetis ecobetis is already sustainable platform so if unless you get a score minimum score in ecobetis you cannot do business with them okay so psci i told you na so psci ka there are minimum requirements wo aapko karna hi karna hai so i think some of the customers get their site audited khud audit karte hain wah karke wah friend agar aapke sath unhone contract sign karna hai aapke sath mein to ehs is a prime requirement for mncs i am sure ki aage aane wale time mein definitely improvement hi hoga log jag rahe hain logon mein awareness aa rahi hai log samajh rahe hain cheezon ko new generation aa rahi hai wo sab samajh rahe hain is cheezon ko right आप हम लोगों को मालूम पड़ ही रहा है ना ग्लोबल वार्मिंग जो टेम्परेचर इतना बढ़ रहा है टू थाउजेंड थर्टी का टारगेट है तो आ, करना ही पड़ेगा ना मजबूरी है करना पड़ेगा 
So I am very positive. Positive. That definitely there shall be considerable improvement in the field of say, health and safety. Yes, sir. So globalization is the call for the day. As we grow, we understand the importance of EHS and safety in the pharmaceutical industry. Thank you so much, sir, for sharing your insights today. It's clear that fostering a strong safety culture is not only adhering to the regulation, but also creating an environment for everyone in the organization. So for our listeners, remember that safety isn't just a priority. It's a value. We have to live it. Thank you, sir, for joining today and hope to continue talking to you in the future. Thank you.